So your girl has been keeping it cute and sitting pretty poolside all summer with my three little ones. Today I wanted to switch it up and just do something quick and easy and glueless. BGM girl had my back. They sent me this beautiful 22 inch water wave lace wig. And as you guys can see, we're going to be installing her from start to finish. And she's going to be 100% glueless, no gel, no spray, no adhesive at all. And you guys can see how well I got it to melt. I'm going to be showing you all of the odds and ends. This one is a four by six lace wig so if you're interested in seeing how we got the look let's get started so here's a look at the inside construction of the cap as i mentioned this is a water wave hd lace wig she's 180 percent density she's mongolian origin and this is just a quick look at how this one is coming she also comes with this elastic band that is adjustable so i'm going to go ahead and adjust the strap and we're going to go ahead and use the strap to anchor the wig on and then from there we're going to go ahead and just apply the remainder of the wig and voila we are ready to style the wig as you guys can see the texture of this one is absolutely gorgeous mongolian happens to be one of my favorite specifically mongolian water wave here is a look at the back of the wig you guys can see she's nice and full the hair is healthy and there is literally no complaints on this one i'm going to go ahead and straighten out the parting as i mentioned it did come set as a center part and we're going to keep it as so you can do like a nice side part especially if you like shift the wig to the side but again a center part is just going to be perfect for this one so i'm going to keep it as is now we're going to go ahead and do our dynamic duo here i'm just showing you a close-up of the hairline i did go ahead and stamp out a little bit of baby hair i didn't want something too full and dramatic i just wanted something nice and simple and sweet to complement the hairline very well this one does have a dome cap structure um there's so many different things i want to tell you about this wig and i don't want to overwhelm you guys but you guys can see how beautiful the hairline is she's definitely pre-plugged to perfection so literally no work needed the hair itself can be bleached or dyed if that's your jam but you guys know i'm a natural girl i love a good natural brown color on most days here i'm just adding a little edge control and i'm just applying it generally to the hairline and whatever's left i'm just sweeping it back into the rest of the hair and then i'm going to cut the hair pretty short and i'm just going to begin the process of swooping everything i am using the edge control for my line and i'm just going ahead and just making little swoops in different directions if i find a piece that's like a little bit too long i'm going to just go ahead and cut it but as you guys can see the hair and the wig and the lace are already melted and if you did not notice we did did not do any kind of bond we skipped that step completely and i'll show you proof at the end of the video that even right now i didn't have to use anything to melt it all you have to do is pretty much like tint the lace if you want it to like blend a little bit better with your complexion but other than that we were literally good to go and did i mention this was pre-cut you didn't see me bond anything down you didn't see me cut the lace literally threw her on she was already in the center part the hair was already beautiful we were literally good to go like anything that i'm doing now is literally just extra so off camera i did go ahead and use a melt belt to go ahead and just press the hair in i like to use a melt belt especially when i'm not going to bond the wig down and this is kind of like the smoke and mirrors trick that is like a glueless way to really 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 marry your lace with your skin and it definitely definitely makes a huge difference so definitely do the melt belt step again i did mine off camera i also kind of use my fingers to like pull the hair apart off camera as well here i am just tinting the lace i used a foundation cream or a cream foundation along the parting and i used the complimentary foundation powder along the hairline and it literally gave an airbrush effect it literally looks so flawless it almost looks like a filter like literally it looks too good to be true now we're gonna go ahead and try out a new product this one i just picked up randomly while i was in target the other day and it's just a curl um like a cream curl product i'll be telling you more about it in my next video i like to use a product at least one time and just kind of like get a good feel for it and see how it works out and then i'll share with you guys let you guys know my thoughts i did apply it generously to the hair from root to tip i did start from tip and go up to root when i went ahead and detangled and you guys can see how beautiful the texture is it's nice it's healthy it's not sparse the ends are not like frayed or damaged 
blemish or anything like that and once i got a good amount of the product in there and detangled the hair i did add a little bit of water just to kind of like stretch the hair so you don't have to go too hard and add too much product and then i'm going to go in and just use my clumping brush which is my dimming brush this is my favorite brush for curls and this does a great job at really making those curls look flawless and i'm just adding water anywhere i feel the need a good good rule of thumb is to co-wash or even just wash and condition your wigs before you start that is a huge help and it does help to save on product using a moisturizing conditioner in the sink and having the hair already damp definitely is going to make this process a lot simpler and easier but of course i'm hard-headed so this was a straight out of the box install i am using my fingers to separate any curls that are needed and as you guys can see the hair came out beautiful it was already pretty but we just turned it up a little bit of a notch here i kind of wanted to do a little bit of a swoop so i did go ahead and just play with it and see how that will look and it looks beautiful and you guys can see how melted the hairline looks. I was trying to see if I wanted that, but then I went back to the center part and then I tried it on the opposite side. The center part itself is perfect and did, nothing else was needed, but I was just trying to see, you know, see what it do. Also, you can go ahead and diffuse the hair. You guys know the diffuser has been one of my favorite options lately for curly hair. I didn't do that with this one because the product that I use promised to do great with air drying your hair. And it did come out amazing, absolutely gorgeous, and I love everything about it again this one did come from bgm girl i know you guys have seen this brand all over tiktok they've been viral lately and these are the goodies they included they had the hd wig caps the melt belt they also included some brown wig caps with for options they gave me an edge brush in the color pink and they also included some wig clips or wig combs so that way you can add them to your wig if you like they also included this uh, bonnet I almost forgot the name of it and as well as a dust bag so they literally gave us so many items I love 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 a good package and that's the final look thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to subscribe like this video share with your friends all details and a direct link to this wig are in the description box you can find literally everything we use there as well thank you guys so much for watching and as always I'll see you in the next one smooches